They're thought of as friendly, smart, interesting mammals, but local researchers say there's so much more we can gain from studying dolphins. I want to take you to their docks down Riviera Beach and show you their latest findings. They know them by name. This one right here is Destiny. This is Zion, that one was. She has a new calf this year. And by their quirks. She's super ornery, um, very playful dolphin. Each and every dolphin in this pod of 10 is beloved by this team. It's always great to see babies. It's always great to see babies. <laughs> you talk about them like they're your kids. <laughs> Yeah. Researchers with the Wild Dolphin Project started by Denise Herzing in the 80s and headquartered right here in the West Palm Beach area just returned from their latest mission in the Bahamas where they studied how resident dolphins are mixing with migrant pods. And also because you can see underwater in the Bahamas to try to look at their communication system and make sense of it, to try to crack their code to see if they have a language. As they showed us, the interactions are typical social behaviors for dolphins. So they're doing it right This there. is the pick rubbing right here. But also just adorable. It's a kind of way of like saying, hey, we're friends. How are we doing? It's like they're holding hands. That's true. It is. Yeah. It's like they're holding hands. Mm -hmm. But it's far from all positive. Florida Atlantic University student Haley Knapp had a few eye-opening moments on board. We were motoring around just looking for dolphins. And I was like, hey, there's a piece of trash there and there and there and it was just everywhere it was like something had dumped just a bunch of trash in the ocean pollution warming waters researchers say these are the things happening below the surface that can impact the more than 30 species of dolphins and signal something much deeper dolphins are top predators and they're really good indicators of the health of the oceans so if the, we know that the pod of dolphins around South Florida is not doing well or something happened, then there might be something happening in the environment that we need to take care of. Why does this work matter to everyone? It matters that we learn to re-love things in the ocean and find strategies to mitigate what we've done. These researchers tell me the health of dolphins here in South Florida is looking really good compared to other parts of the country. Their next research mission is set for spring of next year. And think about this, what you just saw in their video from the Bahamas from their latest trip, that was a pod of 10 dolphins. Sometimes they spot pods of 30, 40 dolphins. My goodness. Magical. You see it a lot with animals that they can kind of gauge either it's, it's health or the environment. And dolphins obviously are no different. Yeah, they've been studying very some smart. of the same pods too since the yeah. 80s. So they have a lot of long term data on these dolphins. Oh, Jennifer, yeah. I know you've Hol been wanting yeah, to do the this, a little <laughs> hand holding. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs>